right, this is Greg with Seven Lights Nutrition, and today we're focusing on liver health and liver detoxification. Uh, these are some astounding statistics that are actually government-based. 30% of the population has something called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD. That's over 100 million people. And this doesn't include liver cancer, cirrhosis, or hepatitis. So this is an area that many people need to put a lot more focus on than what they're giving to it. Um, the liver is so important for what it does in the body. Secretion of bile, uh, metabolizing proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, manufacturing blood clotting agents and blood proteins. You can hit pause on the video and read all this, but it really is amazing how much the liver does. These are all signs and symptoms of liver issues going on. Again, you can hit pause on the video and look at all these closely. If you have any of these going on in your life, chances are you need to detoxify your liver. These are some of the different progressions of liver disease. As you see uh, here, fibrotic liver, cirrhotic liver, liver cancer. These are all things you need to be concerned about. Um, Here's some important facts to consider. Up to 80% of obese people have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In fact, one of the biggest indications of a toxic liver is that extra tire that you see around the gut. So if you're carrying some extra poundage in your stomach, there's a good chance that that's an indication of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease being present as well. Um, so the primary causes of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease uh, and liver problems. There's nine different things that we have broken out in this video. So let's pick up. We're going to start with number one. Heavy alcohol consumption. That's not too hard to figure out. That's pretty much a no-brainer. Hit it hard, kill it quick. Uh, too many people are drinking. They're not hydrating with enough water. They're not eating properly. And just the overconsumption of alcohol is going to do you in. Uh, if you want your liver to go from looking healthy like that on the left to cirrhosis on the right, then do things like that and don't take care of your liver. There, there are a ton of different herbs and supplements that can benefit the liver uh, that can help detoxify. We'll cover that more in this video. <clears throat> Second thing that is huge, refined, processed, packaged foods and fast foods. These things are so toxic to the liver. In fact, in many cases, they may be even more toxic than drinking alcohol. So many people just think, Alcohol, 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 and that's the only thing that's messing up my liver. No, that is not true. These different foods are so damaging and destructive to the liver. Here's another thing. Number three, fried foods. Your liver can't handle all these different fried foods, especially since many of these fried foods are cooked in toxic oils, which put a stress on your liver. Number four, processed meats and factory farmed animal products. It kind of falls on... Uh, number two a little bit, but this is even different. Uh, so that's why I've labeled it number four, processed meats. People are overindulging in all these different meat products. Very detrimental over time to the liver, especially if you're not detoxifying. This is a big one. Number five, hydrogenated oils, trans fats, and toxic oils. If you look and see any label in the store and it says corn oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, or canola oil, uh, chances are they've been genetically engineered, and even if they aren't, these oils are not good oils to ingest regularly in your body. Uh, number six, this is huge, and I know we've had a big emphasis on this in our country to move away from it, but high fructose corn syrup is still uh, present in thousands of different foods on the supermarket shelves, and uh, this is a destroyer of the liver. This study actually comes from our own U.S. government, USNIH study on high fructose corn syrup and NAFLD. Uh, I put in bold uh, what's really important. Certain dietary sugars, particularly fructose, are suspected to contribute to the development of NAFLD and its progression. Uh, then going down a couple sentences, growing evidence suggests that fructose contributes to the development and severity of NAFLD. In human studies, fructose is associated with increasing hepatic fat, inflammation, and possibly fibrosis. So this is actually from our own government, yet they allow this stuff to be in our foods. So it's a big thing. Here's another thing. High fructose corn syrup plus processed foods plus toxic oils plus dehydration equals nuclear destruction of your liver. I know that's a dramatic picture and a dramatic statement, but if you care about liver health, then you're going to want to do some things about it. This is another big thing. 
over-the-counter prescription drugs and, and uh, over-the-counter medications. This is a big problem. So many of these different drugs today actually cause liver issues, liver problems, and uh, you need to get this stuff out of your body if you're going to ingest it. You need to take precautions to protect your liver. This is another big one that people don't pay attention to. Personal care products, cosmetics, deodorants, hairsprays, all these things go into the body and, they, and your liver has to detoxify it. And number nine, and there's, there are probably many more that I can get into, but this one is even bigger than most of them. Roundup or pesticides, a huge disruptor of liver health. In fact, this thing here on the right from PubMed, this is Roundup Exposure Promotes uh, gills and liver impairments, DNA damage, and inhibition of brain uh, cholinaric activity in the Amazon uh, fish. That's just a, that's a study on fish. However, they have already uh, proven that Roundup is a cancer-causing agent. It has problems. Your body has to detoxify this pesticide, and it is sprayed on so many of the different fruits and vegetables that are out there in the market. So. Uh, Disease is like a domino. See the domino picture here. You knock over one and all the other dominoes come falling down. If you can take out the liver, then uh, a lot of other health problems are going to manifest. So what do you need to do to protect your liver? Detox. Why is detoxing so important? Well, if you want a big gut like this guy on the left versus uh, this guy here on the right or this guy versus this woman, uh, you know, the, the, the answer is in the picture. Look at this liver here. There's a healthy liver. Here's a sick, diseased liver on the right. Now, I know that's a dramatic photo. Not everybody's carrying that big liver around in their body, but they, they it's definitely a shocking picture. Uh, if you want to reverse liver damage, you need to minimize these things, and you need to use herbs like we have listed here, berberine, milk thistle, dandelion, yellow dock, burdock, and red root. There are many others, but these herbs all help. In fact, berberine, there are some uh, great studies and research from our own government showing that berberine actually uh, helps. Here's, uh, here's one here. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a common liver disorder that currently lacks effective treatment. Berberine, a botanic compound isolated from traditional Chinese medicine, exhibits a potential therapeutic potential for the metabolic disease. The current study aimed to understand the mechanisms, blah, blah, blah. Uh, long story short, the conclusion, the findings for the first time provide a new genetic insight into the pharmaceutical mechanisms of berberine, berberine and protecting non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Um, so it's important. Berberine is a great product, a great herb. Another, another, uh, and it's, a, it's sourced from Oregon grape root. It's one of the best sources of berberine, a natural compound that can help protect the liver. Milk thistle, another phenomenal herb that, uh, has been reported for years and years to um, help protect liver health. You can go on USNIH government studies and see how milk thistle helps with the liver. Dandelion, another phenomenal herb that is used to protect the liver. Uh, yellow dock root, another amazing herb that can help protect the liver. And burdock root, great. These are all great. Now you're asking yourself, Hey, how can I get all these products in one instead of going out and buying all these herbs separately? Well, we've got an answer for you. Seven Lights offers a phenomenal all-in-one liver detox supplement that contains all of these herbs. So if you want to get your liver on a better track towards health, then you need to try Seven Lights Liver Detox. It's a great product. You also need to avoid these landmines that we laid out here as much as possible. Do the best you can. I know we're not in a perfect world. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to order liver detox, go to our website, sevenlightshealth.com. That's sevenlightshealth.com. Or you can also find liver detox from Seven Lights on Amazon. Thank you.